Hypertension, also known as high blood pressure, is a common and often serious medical condition in which the force of blood on your artery walls is too high. Your arteries are blood vessels that carry oxygen-rich blood and nutrients from the heart to the rest of your body. Because you can't feel your blood pressure, many people have high blood pressure without even knowing it. Left untreated, high blood pressure can damage your heart, kidneys, and lead to stroke. In this Minute for Health, the students from the Wegman School of Pharmacy at St. John Fisher College will review how to measure your blood pressure, what the numbers mean, the over-the-counter medications that can affect your blood pressure, and ways to manage your blood pressure. To take your blood pressure at home, first you should be seated in a chair and make sure that you wear loose-fitting clothes or short sleeves so that it is easier to wrap the cuff around your arm. Be sure your arm is supported and positioned above your heart. Take the cuff from your blood pressure machine and wrap it around your upper arm. Make sure you wrap it tightly so that it won't fall off. After that, you press the start button on your blood pressure machine and just relax and breathe normally while the machine is measuring your blood pressure. Once the cuff is released, you can remove the cuff from your arm and then read your blood pressure number on the machine. You should take your blood pressure at roughly the same time each day and take it on both arms. Try to sit quietly for at least 10 minutes before you take a reading. Depending on what blood pressure machine you are using, you should see two numbers. The top number, which is known as the systolic pressure, is the higher number of the two. Systolic pressure refers to the pressure in your arteries when your heart beats or when your heart contracts to pump blood. The bottom number, which is known as the diastolic pressure, is the lower number of the two. This number represents the pressure in your arteries between heartbeats when your heart is resting and filling with blood. Healthcare professionals generally refer to blood pressure readings as normal, prehypertensive, and high blood pressure. According to the American Heart Association, to be considered normal, blood pressure must be 120 over 80. And if your numbers are lower than that, you will be considered as having normal blood pressure. If your numbers are a bit higher than the normal range, then you are prehypertensive. This means that you will develop high blood pressure later on if you do not manage your blood pressure well. If you're reading a number above 140 over 90, then you have high blood pressure. There are some common over-the-counter medications that may increase your blood pressure. Generally speaking, pain relievers, fever reducers, cold medicines, and some supplements are the major over-the-counter medications that may cause an increase in your blood pressure. Decongestants, such as Sudafed, can narrow your blood vessels, ultimately resulting in an increase in your blood pressure. Those living with hypertension are not a luck, though. Certain medications, like Coracid and HBP, are safe for those to use with high blood pressure. Now everyone has heard of Advil and Aleve being used to treat pain before, but did you know that these medications may also block the actions of prescribed blood pressure medications and may reduce their effectiveness? Before taking any medications, over the counter or prescription, please consult with your local pharmacist or physician. There are ways that you can maintain your blood pressure at a healthy level through exercise, healthy eating, and regularly checking your blood pressure. Exercising plays a big part in your overall health and particularly in controlling high blood pressure as it will help keep your blood flowing smoothly. The American Heart Association recommends two and a half hours of moderate aerobic activity each week. It's best to pace yourself through the activities and spread them throughout the week. 
you can simply walk or jog for 30 minutes a day, five days a week to control your blood pressure. Eating a proper diet will help to manage your blood pressure and keep it low. Your everyday food consumption should be based on the food pyramid. Your diet should include lots of vegetables, fruits, and whole grains, and minimize sweets, fats, and empty calorie foods. Lastly, make sure you check your blood pressure regularly so that you can be sure you are maintaining it at a healthy level. Now that you have the basic information on managing your blood pressure, take action. If you measure your blood pressure and feel that it falls in the high blood pressure range, consult with your doctor to determine if you have high blood pressure and what treatment plan will be used to help you keep your blood pressure down. If your doctor tells you that your blood pressure indicates you are prehypertensive, take steps to eat a healthy diet, exercise, and lose weight to decrease the chances of developing high blood pressure. And if your blood pressure is normal, congratulations, you still need to stay vigilant to be sure it stays that way. This has been a Minute for Health brought to you by the students from the Wegmans School of Pharmacy at St. John Fisher College.